Welcome back. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Big transfer news this evening. We're going to jump straight into it. Hit the like button now, though. Get that done. Even if you're watching on TV, I know it's a little harder. You've got to use the remote and all of that, but get that like button hit for us right now. And join the Football Terrace group chat right now so you don't miss any more updates from us. And I need to jump in straight to Manchester United. Man United and Atletico Madrid have joined the race for the AC Milan target for Fana. Monaco want 35 million for him. Milan are now considering other options in midfield. Now, I don't want to discount Atletico Madrid's involvement in this, but obviously we cover stories on the football terrace from the perspective of the top six clubs in the English Premier League. And Man United have already hijacked a player to AC Milan this summer, secured the deal of Joshua Xerxy. He's official. He's a Manchester United player. Could this be about to happen again? Is history going to repeat itself? There is the possibility. Atletico Madrid, of course, very powerful, potent um, and attractive football club, especially under the tutelage and guidance of Diego Simeone. But what I read about Fofana is very positive. A lot of Man United fans excited about the idea of this young man coming to Old Trafford. And this kind of coincides with a story that has come out that Man United have already made a verbal, several verbal offers for Ugarte that we have agreed personal terms with. But PSG is still demanding £59 million with negotiations still ongoing. Of course, we've also seen this, the situation surrounding Martin Zubamendi as well. And they appear to be the three Man United midfielders that we're linked to that is most likely or the, the most credible story surrounding us pursuing those individuals. I very much doubt we're going to sign all three, in my humble opinion. It appears like it's going to be two of the three, but which two of the th Possibly two of the three. Let me rephrase that. Possibly two of the three coming in. The question I want to ask the viewers today is which of the three, which of the three would you sign? If you could pick two, which of the three, which, which two from the three, if I get my mouth working, would you pick? Martin Zubamendi's right up there. Zubamendi would have to come in. The difference is this, Fofana is more of an eight. Fofana is more of an eight. He is not a lone six. So if you're going to pick Zubamendi, you've got to then go with Fafana. You, I don't think you can pick Zubamendi. You could pick Zubamendi in Yagate. I mean, that could work. You probably can't pick Fafana. And you can. I don't know. I'm, there's pros and cons to all of them. The maddest bit is, is they all have such amazing talent. It's hard to differentiate. But if I'm going to pick and be honest, I would probably go with Zubamendi, you guy. Zubamendi for Fana. I can't decide! I hope these stories are true. I hope they come to fruition. But the good news is, it doesn't really matter on what I want. It does, of course, I care about your opinion. But imagine being in a situation where Man United are looking at players and we're not too sure which ones we want. So I'm having a little drink tonight. Kind of in holiday mode. So, what do you all think and feel? Let us know in the comment section below. Now, we discussed this earlier on today, but I wanted to go into it in a bit more detail. Arsenal confirm their transfer intent. Sam, uh, sorry, S Simon Collins confirms, confirms that once Arsenal announced a deal for Calafiuri, the deal between the player and the club is agreed, the deal between Arsenal and Bologna is agreed, it's just being held up due to paperwork Nothing to do with Arsenal, all to do with the buyout clauses from previous deals and agreements. Once it's through, Simon Collins has stated that Arsenal will push ahead with Moreno and push ahead for Nico Williams. Now, I've had a lot of stick in the last few days. So, Terry, you don't even understand how Spanish buyout clauses work. Arsenal can't just pay it. Now, I know that in reality. I know they, they don't pay it directly to... Um, Bill Bow, I mean, Bill Bow say yes, and then they get to speak to the player. You have to essentially give the money to La Liga. The Liga will pay it to the player. But once the La Liga, sorry, to, to the 
to the league. Essentially, the player is buying out their contracts. And I understand this, that you're not literally dealing with these clubs directly in that way. But I I'm, I'm suppose I'm speaking more in a metaphor. I thought that was very simple and easy to, 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 to understand that what I'm implying is you essentially tell Nico Williams we're going to pay. In fact, you contact all the regulated party, the, the, regu the, the regulatory bodies and parties and say, look, we've got the money. Where do we transfer it to? You let Nico Williams know we want to do this. And if this story is true, and I have to reiterate, if this story is true, and Arsenal do push for Nico Williams, Moreno, after the signing of Calafiori, Arsenal become my favourites to win the Premier League. Arsenal will go beyond being scary. They will be a dangerous, potent team with depth. And I know some Gooners are worried about chasing Nico Williams in case he says no. But I think that is crazy. I think you should be pushing for him. And if the story is true, Arsenal are going to be a potent, dangerous, scary, horrible outfit to play next season for rivals. It's just wow. Oh, my God. If Arsenal pull this off, they are behaving like a giant club, a mammoth club. They truly, truly are. Now, many of you are going to say, Terry, this isn't happening. Terry, this won't get over the line. But I've seen the people, the, the negative people saying that. So there's two different types. There's the people that are, are hopeful it happens, but just don't quite believe it. Fair enough. Then you have the, the negative Nellies that will always say, United aren't getting this player. Chelsea can't sign him. No way Arsenal are pulling this deal off. The same people that would have said Arsenal were finished in the rice race when Man City put their bid in last year. Those individuals I discard, I discount because they're negative about every potential transfer and never hold their hands up when they get it wrong. They just try and spin it into another negative. But if this is what Arsenal were doing, then wow. Genuinely, wow. What amazing business that could be. Serious, serious stuff. Now, moving away from Arsenal and Manchester United, the story has come out this evening that Man City want around about 90 million euros. For Julian Alvarez. Now we know Alvarez has asked to leave the club. We know that he has rejected a new deal. And this is about time for Chelsea to step up. You could argue Arsenal, who need another striker. But I don't believe they're in as much desperate need of a goal scorer, a potent, dangerous, flagrant attacker as Chelsea are. Julian Alvarez should be their main target. We know they've already inquired. But another one of their big targets, Victor, Victor Osimhen, has agreed on personal terms with Paris Saint-Germain. They've got to make signings. They've got to move players on. You know, that's it. Chelsea there have lost out on another long-term top-class target. Sam, Samu Amarodium, the Durans, they are not it. They are not going to move the needle up front for Chelsea. But Julian Alvarez could. 90 million euros. For the 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 billion that's been spent by Chelsea in the past two or so years, the last three summer windows, two January windows, this would represent the best bit of business that they have done. Potent, dangerous, credible, a very good age profile, has won trophies, has that experience, still has youth on his side. Now, you've got to convince Man City to sell him to you. That's going to be the difficult part. But for me, Chelsea should be all over this deal like white on rice. If, if, if Man United had a chance, I'd be begging that we go after him. I think Julian Alvarez is a tremendous talent. One that I'm very glad to see leaving City. In fact, I don't want him going to another Premier League team. I'd love him to go abroad. But I'm speaking from a place of honesty. And that is exactly what Chelsea should be doing. They should be all over it. Especially with Osimhen looking like he's going to go to Paris Saint-Germain. As ever, look, I want your views, I want your opinions on these transfer stories. Yes, the, I've shown all the sources to these, I'll give you my opinions on them, but yours are the most important element. Even if they're negative, even if they're slam, shutting the stories down, attacking me, I don't care. I don't care, there's no echo chambers here. Get your comments in. Until next time, take care, goodbye, God bless, and we'll see you all again soon. Peace!